What's up guys, Waldo D. Dude here bringing you another round of Halo 4. So today, we're bringing you a little uh, Abandon. This map is something that, uh, well, I mean I've played it obviously quite a few times by now. And it uh, it changes rather heavily based on, on who you're playing. Um, I think that uh, the guys that are less skilled, I suppose, seem to want to play this game as a, uh, they'll run around a lot more I guess, uh, is the easiest way to put it, and the guys that seem like they are more skilled will basically bunker down in either uh, this facility here or down in the back, and it can be very, very, very difficult to uh, root them out, so, oh god, this guy's coming down so awful having people next to you with a controller, oof, should've had that guy. Um, it basically turns into a, I want to say a long range sniping match per se, but uh, a long range sniping match I suppose. Um, there you can see my wonderful aim, I just don't know what to do with myself with a fucking controller uh, when somebody gets up close. I have like this panic set in <laughs> when somebody gets within a certain range because it means that uh, I'm just non-functional and I'm not entirely sure what to do with uh, what to do with myself. Um, I kind of get into a little bit of a, uh, kind of lucky headshot there, um, get into a bit of a lucky, uh, streak a little bit later on, get into something of a rhythm because I start to figure out what it is I want to do and how to play this game. I think that, um, I don't necessarily have a, uh, oh, there we go, no, can't figure out how to throw my grenades. Because I'm, I'm not sure how to approach, I guess, this level. At this point in time, um, I hadn't really figured out that people like to necessarily sit back and, I'm going to say camp, per se, but, I mean, a lot of the guns, the majority of the guns in Halo are long range, um, sniping, head shooting, I don't know, type guns, so a lot of these fights seem to take place at long range, uh, at least on this map. Uh, a lot of the maps are set up for some long range stuff, and it could be. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He's trying to go stealth. So, fuck him. Um, I think I'm gonna bring down the Needler here. I don't know. I love the Needler. I think that, uh, especially from. Was the Needler in Halo 1, I think? Anyway, uh, Needler's fantastic. It kinda tracks the target. Um, sometimes it doesn't track the target. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's a certain type of armor that they have, or. Overshield, or maybe it just seems like it's not. So you can see this guy sitting up there. That's one of the places he'll just sit up there and camp. Um, I think that uh, the people that are most effective. Oh, just got stuck. That's lovely. The people that are most effective at this game are the guys that like to. Uh, like I said they travel in pairs, and they will. Uh, they're very good at, uh, like I said, never approaching a situation. Never approaching a situation without extreme um, numbers, I guess. It's not the Zerg Swarm per se. Um, get a little overzealous here, yeah. Just not, not that talented. Can't take on three. Get a little too hungry. Um, but they, they never. Anyway, they don't overextend themselves. And I guess what you can see here, I like this round because it shows me trying to figure out. Um, how to play without overextending myself. This guy obviously has some severe tunnel vision. Um, so I think I pick up this dude's sniper and then I start to figure out almost accidentally the stuff that I'm trying to talk to you about. That uh, I don't know, I guess it's kind of, I guess it's, I guess it is camping. Um, it's just forcing them to come to us as opposed to us going to them. Um, I would imagine, I'd love to see what uh, pro games look like got that guy once. I don't know if it's just guys that, uh, <laughs> it sucks to be that dude. Um, I don't know if it, if like dudes will literally just like set up friggin' camp and nobody goes to anybody, um, and because you have to get kills, but at the same time, I would, it's a lot more, a lot more common and popular to, uh, a lot more not popular, a lot easier to have them come to you, so, I, I 
I don't know. I'm not sure if it's just the, the equivalent of like, you know, COD, you know, setting up shop and nobody moves out, uh, nobody's willing to move at all. But anyway, that's what I would expect because right now you can see, so what, I mean, I was getting maybe, uh, I was going on like a 2 to 1 KD maybe at the beginning and now myself and my team are sitting down here in the back and we're racking up some kills, getting some uh, power weapons here. And I think I'm on a what five, six, seven kill streak at the moment. So obviously there's something that's working a lot better as I obviously just can't sit still. So they've got two guys up here. They're just refusing to move out of this. Uh, I think I, I'm curious to see what would happen if um, this game had a, a mouse and keyboard because. At, and I know there's some dudes with MLG that are just super pro aiming, and I've seen some videos of those guys that are just, their aim is just absolutely disgusting. Uh, sucks to be you. Yep, oh, grenades. Um, you know, I, I saw one video where, um, and they're trying to kill, well, I guess they're playing capture the flag or something like that, and they were, uh, the enemy had the flag, and the dudes were driving back in the Warhawk and they went off some huge friggin jump and it was like a game winning thing if they captured the flag that team won and if they didn't the other team won so um... anyway this guy makes these friggin game winning snipe kills and snipes out like three guys out of the warthog in midair with three shots I mean that is absolutely incredible aim I mean there's probably a little bit of luck available or a little bit of luck associated with that uh, <laughs> invisible shitheads but I think things like things like that would be much 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 more common if you had a uh, a mouse and keyboard um, I was trying to sneak up and assassinate that guy and I probably shouldn't have because I just lost two amazing weapons I was getting a little got a little cocky I suppose um, I've the story that I was going to tell last time, um, it's nothing too fancy, but there is, uh, I guess I've been lucky enough to uh, know and play with a few uh, few pro um, Halo players over the years. Ouch, that would be my own sniper rifle shooting me in the face. So, um, I mean, these guys, it was funny because uh, I ended up playing PC games with them. I wasn't playing Halo with them. But it was really funny because one of these guys actually was playing um, uh, Battlefield at the time. Uh, I think MLG, I don't remember all the years, but anyway, one of these guys was a pro Halo player and he, uh, what was he, he was, I don't remember how we met this guy, but he was claiming something like, you know, blah blah blah, like he's never, you know, he doesn't meet anybody that he can't trash and, you know, he's very good and yada yada yada. Anyway, we ended up playing him on uh, Battlefield and basically ran like an infantry only thing or whatever and just trashed him up, down, left, and sideways. And he was shocked. I think it was myself and... was it myself and Bruce? I don't remember who else. But um, just beat his fucking balls and... and he remember him saying something like, you know, he never met anybody that was better than him and you know, he couldn't believe it and um, he was using terms like pre-firing and stuff like that, and I never even heard of anybody pre-firing, or I don't even know what that means. Um, I, yeah, you just, just know that it's a good idea to start firing before you see somebody, so, um, I'm trying to grab some kills, if only my aim was better, oh god, just overextending myself. Anyway, so it's... I think that those those skills of I like this game because of like the reason I like this game more so than say Halo per se or more so than say COD is obviously you have fewer of those like, you know like head glitching and things like that where well, there's just nothing you can do about it. I feel like you learn from your own deaths and things like that in here, which is fantastic. Oh by the way, energy hammer, awesome. But I think that the quarter what separates one man apart from another person in Halo. I think more so than anything else, more so than figuring out, you know, when to attack or whatever, is just straight up fucking aim. Oh god, if I only had, only had gotten that third kill. Um, and I think that when that, the whole point of saying that story was just from that professional Halo player, when he was playing a PC game and the people he was playing against had 
well, we had superior skills in knowing, you know, when to attack, when not to attack, where to attack from, and also better aim. And aiming isn't a factor. I mean, he's just, they got, uh, he was completely outclassed. So I, I, I really, 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 I mean, I talked about it a lot in the last one, but uh, I think that, uh, I don't know, it's a lot of the skill comes from uh, just straight up fucking aiming and, Ah, it's just gonna be a long time before that gets up there because you saw as you saw my uh, Especially up close. I think the close to medium range with anything uh, battle rifle or something like that is just a complete friggin um, Joke so I did all right 24 and 8 um, 3 to 1 mainly went on that big big streak there um, Doing some open lobby stuff with this before long. I think this game is definitely a uh, puts a lot of uh, impact on team-based game, which is pretty cool. But the individual can still be strong, which is what's important. So, anyways, stay tuned for those open lobby information. As always, comments, criticisms, critiques. Hope you guys enjoyed.